Good afternoon, everybody. This is Judo Awakens 28, and I have another video for you entitled Hebrew is Afro-Asiatic, formerly known as Hamido Semitic, which means the Israelites are black people. Now, we all know that whenever they put the word Afro in front of a people, those people are black people. It's as simple as that. So this video will be nothing fancy. We're just going to use common sense. And we're going to show from a few sources that, yes, indeed, the Hebrews were Afro-Asiatic, or in other words, they were black people. Black people then and black people today. It's as simple as that. So without further delay, let's go ahead and get right into it. Now, here we have a, a quick Google search that I did. Nothing fancy. Anyone can pull this up online. Here is the language gopher. And over there in the blue section, highlighted is what? Semitic. And inside the Semitic family or Shemitic family is what? Hebrew. Hebrew is Afroasiatic. Anytime that they put Afro in front of something, it means black. We all know that. This is common knowledge. Here we have a quick Google search that I did, and I was able to pull up an online dictionary. And as you see right there, highlighted in the green to your right, up under the word Semitic is what? Afro-Asiatic. The Afro-Asiatic, once referred to as the semito hamitic language family, includes Arabic and Hebrew, as well as a number of languages spoken primarily in Northern Africa and Southwestern Asia. Any time they put the word Afro in front of a people, it means black. So this is uh, showing also the connection between the Hamites and the Shemites. In your Bible, whenever the Israelites fled, what did they flee to? They fled into Africa where the Hamites were because they blended in. They looked just like the Hamites. So that's where they went. And another quick Google search that I did, and you see Semitic, and you see highlighted in the blue to your left is Afro-Asiatic. This is, I mean, it's simple. You don't have to do um, a lot of searching in libraries. You don't have to go find a lot of hidden books. This is right there at your fingertips on Google. And um, the second definition of Semitic, it says, of relating to or characteristic of the Semites. Number three, Jewish. So Jewish is Afro-Asiatic. Afro-Asiatic means black. And if you look over there to your right, the languages belonging to the Afro-Asiatic family are subdivided into six branches. Berber, Chadic, Cushitic, and Egyptian. Cushion Egypt, sons of Ham. Ham was what? The progenitor of the dark races. And we can keep going. Another quick Google search, and I pulled up aboutworldlanguages.com. Over there to your bottom left, you see Afro-Asiatic. And right up under it, the very first group listed is what? Semitic. And Hebrew is included in that. And you look over there to your right, and you see the six branches of the Asiatic, Afro-Asiatic family. And you see Berber, Chadic, Cushitic, and Egyptian. And I want you to pay attention to that Coptic Orthodox Christians. That means also that the cops were what? Black people. They're also listed up under the Afro-Asiatic family group. And again, your Bible constantly tells you that the Egyptians and the Israelites looked alike. The Israelites were quite often mistaken for being Egyptians. People couldn't tell them apart. Well, if the Egyptians come from Ham and they're black, that also means the Israelites are what? black and we can keep going on and on here's another quick google search that i did uh, using my phone and you will see that this online the source says hamido semitic hamites shemites also listed as afrasian or afro asiatic but down at the bottom again semitic a major branch of the afro asiatic language family so you have another source telling you that the Israelites were black people because common sense, you know this, I know this, we all know this. 
Whenever they place the word Afro in front of a group of people, it means those people are black people. Notice that you do not see anything saying that Hebrew is related to the Grecians, the Romans, or any Europeans for that matter. Nothing about Yiddish, anything. Now, I do have people come to me asking me, why does color matter? The Most High is not racist, so it shouldn't matter if the Israelites are black or white. God loves everyone. But we have sources proving that the Israelites were black people, and it does matter. Um, because if it didn't, then there would not be such a concerted effort to go out there and change the color of these Israelites. But there is. But we have sources proven otherwise. Like this one, Hamido Semitic, a former name for Afro Asiatic. So the Israelites were black people. But the question that I have is why is it that color doesn't matter whenever we say the Israelites are black people, but yet the Ashkenazi have been going around saying that they're the true Jews for centuries and no one bats an eye. No one questions them. No one says that it doesn't matter. God is not a racist. It shouldn't matter if you're black or white. No one says that. They only say it to us. But we come with sources time and time again, just like this one. Submit it in American English. Now, down at the bottom, number two, it says a major subfamily of the Afro-Asiatic family of languages. All right. Uh, we go back up to number one, two, the adjective designating or of the Semites or their languages or cultures. So, uh, Semitic, anything that has to do with the Israelites is Afro-Asiatic. And we have another source right here, and this one says the Hamido Semitic languages evidently have five branches. You know, one other source that we had earlier said six. But look, Semitic, all right, the very first one used is what? Semitic. So, Semitic is tied to the Hamitic for a reason. Not just because some of their languages sounded alike, but because they looked just alike. The Bible told you that the Egyptians and the Israelites looked just alike. And whenever the Israelites were in trouble, where did they go? They went into Africa. They went into Egypt. Some went to Nubia. We know from Eldad the Danite, ninth century writer, he said that they fled into Ethiopia. And how do we know that the word Afro means black people whenever you put it in front of a group of people? Well, let's do a quick Google search right quick. We have here Afro-American. And look who pops up. Black people who live in America. Now, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next one. Afro-Brazilian. More black people. Now, notice that these black people look like the Afro-Americans, but they do not look like the modern Egyptians or the Israelis who are supposed to be Afro-Asiatic, according to all the other sources that we looked at. Moving on. We have Afro-Cuban. And look, more black people. They look like the Afro-Brazilians who look like the Afro-Americans. Now, I'm starting to wonder if someone's lying because the Israelis and the Egyptians are supposed to be Afro-Asiatic, yet neither one of them look Afro-Asiatic to me. So we're going to move on and we're going to go to the Afro-British. And we have black people who pop up here, too. Um, it's, it should be getting, you know, repetitive to you guys now. Every time we type in the word Afro in front of someone, black people pop up just like the Afro-Canadians that we have here. Afro-Canadian. So I'm trying to figure out how is it that the Egyptians and the Semites or Shemites are supposed to be Afro-Asiatic, but they do not look like any of these people that I'm showing right now. These right here are Afro-Asians. I typed in Afro-Asians and black people pop right up. And these are quick Google searches. Uh, you don't have to spend a lot of time on this. Just type in Afro anything and black people pop up. Here we have the Afro Portuguese and they're black. And if you know anything about the black Portuguese, 
They were Jews who were sold as slaves in the transatlantic slave trade. They were described as always dark complexioned or black. Same here with the Afro-Spanish black people. Afro-Spanish were also sold as slaves. And they were described as always being dark complexion. But anyways, whenever you type in the word Afro in front of anyone, black people show up. And here we have Afro-Russians, and they are black people who live in Russia. None of these people look like the Israelis or the modern Egyptians. Every source that I showed you said that those people are supposed to be Afro Asiatic, like these Afro Iranians that we have here. And yes, black people do live in Iran. They never hardly ever show them. There's a reason for that. But here we have black people who live in Iran with the word Afro in front of their name. Let's see what they look like in Iraq. More black people, Afro Iraqi. And uh, we have an article right there that says we want to breathe too. Those fair skinned Arabs are not uh, Afro Iraqis. That is not what that article is talking about. When you get a chance, go read the article for yourself and you'll see. But we're going to move on and we're going to see the Afro Palestinians. And they never hardly ever show them on TV either. But they claim to have been in the land for thousands of years. And look how they look. Now, they're black. They look like all the other black people, right? Like all the other Afro people that we shown. They look just like them. All right. So this was just a quick video. Nothing fancy. Just uh, to show you how easy it is to do a quick Google search and see that, first of all, the Egyptians and the Israelites were both Afro-Asiatic. And anytime we put the word Afro in front of someone, it means that those people are black people. Easy work. All right. So that concludes the video. And remember, black people in America and around the world who are descended from the transatlantic slave trade, you are the tribe of Judah, the true biblical Hebrews.